Good afternoon. So I'm going to do a uh, video. I'm trying to actually get a couple of them done today. Uh, be posted out sometime in the next week. But if you're seeing this, obviously it's been posted. I've been meaning to do these videos for a while. Actually, some of them a couple years. This is, I guess, what you would call kind of the end. Or at least, well, until Series 9 comes out, the end of my uh, Doctor Who DVD collection. So, it's kind of an end to the overview that I've been doing. Now, I didn't bother doing uh, some of the earlier seasons or taking a close look at them. Well, Season 5 in particular. I might actually do a full video on the DVDs of Seasons 1 to 4. Actually, yeah, I might do that because I never looked at those in uh, close detail. And uh, they're the, the larger Digipack versions that are no longer available. But, to start out, we're going to look at uh, the Complete Six series. Now, this has actually been released three times so far on DVD. I've owned two of them. Previously, I had parts one and two and A Christmas Carol. Sold those a while ago. I wanted to keep them for my collection, but I needed money, so, uh, yeah, they had to go. And, uh, but I, I, I already own this, so it was basically just getting rid of duplicates. I still had all the stories, obviously. So... Uh, we'll take a close look at the set. I've already done an overview, uh, well, just a couple weeks ago on kind of my, my revisited look back at the whole of Series 6. So now we'll take a look at the DVD, and it's actually, or Blu-ray. It's actually been a while since I've done one of these, mainly because after I retired my, uh, my two cannons, I didn't have anything that really could do these because my cameras were awful, they were not good at close-up shots, and yeah, yada yada yada, so far I'm not going to go into it in any, any more detail than I have. So, this is the set. came out in late 2011, actually I think pretty much the same time as Season 6 Part 2 came out, but at the time I didn't have a lot of money, um, and I could not afford the full set, but I wanted to see the videos on, uh, on Blu-ray, so I bought uh, Part 2, which was like a quarter of the price is what this, this was going for at the time. I eventually actually picked this up in, it would have been around late 2013. Normally this goes for 80 or $90. Amazon was running a, uh, it was right before Christmas, so a Christmas sale on a lot of their DVDs and Blu-rays, well, Doctor Who DVD Blu-rays, well, actually BBC general stuff, if I remember at the time. So I got it for $39.95 plus tax plus shipping. So not a bad deal, actually, for a full Doctor Who DVD set. So... This is obviously the front. Here we've got the back. I'll just scan up here so see it in more detail. And the, the lighting in here isn't the best, especially with the uh, kind of glossy finish of the DVD. I've got a, a diffused light over it, but it's not working as well as I would like, but you can still see it. So there we've got all the region info. We've got our artwork, a full list of obviously the episodes starting with the Christmas Carol and ending with the Wedding of River Song, which a lot of people hate. Uh, I mentioned in my own video this is, I, I think it, it's not completely horrible, but it's definitely the weakest of, well, Doctor Who, the new series, or Doctor Who since it's come back. I've looked down there, I kind of see my leg. 2011. Just checking out the macro on this camera, actually. How close can we get? There we go. Can I get right up on it? So that's closer than I could get with my Canon, and I'm literally right on top of it. There you go. Just a test that you've seen on video. And the autofocus just takes a second to catch up. So, I'm trying to do this one-handed. And we'll open this up and take a look at the contents. So here, on the back, we have a uh, picture of Amy and Rory. Uh, by this season, Rory had become a regular companion. First time we'd actually really, well, I guess you could consider Mickey and Rose kind of a, a dual companion team, but they, they that didn't last very long. This is the first time we, we had kind of a dual team for an entire series. There you go. You've got all the copyright fun information like that. I'm sure you all wanted to see the copyrights. That's the back. You look at the front, go Doctor Who, the sixth series. I actually think this, this would have been, this image actually probably would have worked, worked better on the slipcover instead of this, but yeah, whatever. Yeah, of course, or me, you know, kind of the Doctor walking away because this was one of the many seasons 
that focused around the doctor dying, which apparently the current one, at least for right now, is too, but that's another video altogether. So just opening it up. So there we got a picture of River Song. Then as we open it up, try and fix this so the glare is at least minimized. So here we've got just a rundown of the episode, special features. This is also, I should note, the last season that had uh, Doctor Who Confidential. And we do have Confidential 1 through 13 on disc 6, the cut down versions. I, I actually like uh, Confidential for the behind the scenes stuff, but I always found just the musical sequences just cheesy as hell. Uh, that's just my own opinion. I think I've said that before, and I, I've debated it with people one way or the other. But anyway, so in here we've got kind of a cool looking little uh, one page comic book. Then we've got the discs themselves. And from what I remember, this is different artwork than uh, the uh, individual releases. If I still had them, we'd look at them again. But actually, I've got, uh, I've got a video at least of these somewhere on my channel. can't remember if I actually opened up the discs, but well, I'm sure you can find it. There we go. Disc 2. The Silence. Disc 3. The Gangers, which I've said before, I think are probably the weakest, or one of the weakest, Doctor Who two-parters ever, or two-parter that focused on them, but like this was a weak season all around for the most part, mainly for the confusion and a couple very mediocre episodes. So. Strax. Cyberman. Cyberman. Well, individual. Singular. Cyberman. Well, this came with it. Doctor Who... Toys and more, and now uh, the BBC feedback registration card. You get the sonic screwdriver. You've seen those in many YouTube videos. And then the Doctor Who Confidential disc with the Doctor on it. So, that is my DVD look, or DVD Blu-ray overview look of Series 6. You can see my other video for the full review. And, yeah, that's uh, about all I have to say for today. Well, I didn't have to say a lot. It was mainly just looking at the set. And, uh, the, like, I, and as I said, these were these have been released three times. There was a two-parter, or the individual releases, and there was this. Then there's a complete Matt Smith years, which, if I could justify the cost, I would upgrade my whole Matt Smith collection. But, at the moment, I can't. And I may not be able to while they're still available, so this may be at least my definitive collection of Matt Smith. So as always, everyone, thank you for watching, and have a great day.